The Xiaomi Mi Air 2 Bluetooth wireless headphones are Xiaomi's second attempt at making a premium pair of truly wireless headphones. And we see Xiaomi taking a very different attempt with this pair of headphones. This time, Xiaomi has decided to add software bits into it, more complete, I guess, attempts at features. Honestly, I'm really confused as to what they're trying to do. As with all of my reviews, we're gonna cover the design, some of the features, we're gonna cover the audio latency, the call quality, the sound quality, and then finally wrap it up with some of my thoughts and feelings about these. So first, let's talk about the design of the case. Now, the design of the case is kind of a refinement of what we have seen for the original Xiaomi Mi AirDots Pro. The case is more angular and is kind of an oval shape. And overall, I think the case feels okay in the hands. It's got a USB-C port on the bottom. It's got a pairing button on the side. And just like with the original Mi AirDots Pro, when you open them, they begin to pair with your device. Quality and the materials of the case feel a little bit cheaper than the previous generation of Mi AirDots Pro. Overall, the case feels all right. The lid stays open decently well when you hold it open or when you kind of open it, then angle it forward. The headphones stay in with very strong magnets and the case has a satisfying click. Now the matte white material on it feels like it will hold up pretty well. I gotta say compared to the original Mi AirDots Pro, the material and the actual case itself doesn't feel as bulky and substantial in the hand. You might like that bulk, you might not like that bulk. In the hand and like the overall size, it's got a decent enough size. It doesn't feel too big, it can easily fit in your pocket. Uh, and I, I'm quite indifferent about this case. I don't really like it, I don't really dislike it. It does have one LED charging light on the front uh, and that's basically it. Let's get into the actual headphones themselves. Now you open up the case and you're greeted with a pair of what looks to be pregnant AirPods. I don't know how else to describe it. The part that actually fits in your ear is identical to Apple's AirPods. And then the rest of them are a little bit larger. And then the stem that sticks out is seemingly shorter than the AirPods, yet still thicker. Now the stem itself is touch sensitive and you can reprogram the touch bar if you speak Mandarin. If you don't speak Mandarin, um, you're gonna have difficulty with this. This could totally be changed in a software update, but you can change what a double press on either, or a double tap on what either stem will do. I don't speak Mandarin, so I don't know how to reprogram this. There's a little vent or a little, yeah, vent on the actual headphones itself. And then there is the speaker grill that goes into your ear. Along with that, there is a proximity sensor. That proximity sensor will automatically play and pause the music. And it works really effectively to play and pause the music. On the bottom, we have the charging connectors as well as the microphone. And that takes care of like the design of the actual headphones themselves. To touch briefly on how the fit interacts with your ear, I've had no serious problems with them falling out of my ear, just like Apple AirPods, but they don't do any type of sound isolation from the outside world at all. So you're gonna find yourself cranking up volume pretty high. I wanna interrupt this video really quick to say thanks to everyone that supports me and uses my affiliate links. If you guys want to purchase these or any other headphones, I'll have links to that in the description down below. If you guys want to contact me, at me on Twitter. If you're into mobile photography, check out Shamitography. And if you guys want to read about these, go ahead and check out my website. Let's just hop back into the video. Let's talk about features. Now these headphones do feature uh, the LDHC or the uh, low latency, high definition audio. Unfortunately, the only phone currently that Xiaomi has that supports that is the Xiaomi Mi 9 Pro. Not the Mi 9T Pro, but the Mi 9 Pro. Right now they connect to my K20 Pro over AAC audio codec. 
Now, another feature that Xiaomi talked about was their integration into MIUI 11. And when we open these up, we get a pop-up animation and it will tell us how much battery is in the left uh, ear, the right ear, and how much charge is left in the case, which is a nice feature. Unfortunately, that pop-up animation doesn't have any pictures of the device yet. I am running the newest beta version of MIUI 11 on Xiaomi EU. We're gonna be getting an update for that uh, in the next two days or so because they just released another China beta today. It takes about a day, two days for the Xiaomi EU team to update that and push the update out. So some of this stuff could change. And if we do see a big update, I will be publishing another video. If you don't have a device running MIUI 11, you're not gonna get this pop-up animation and you're not going to see how much battery is necessarily left on the headphones. Also, it's worth noting that Xiaomi has yet to push or yet to create an application that is specifically designed to interface with these headphones. So you're not getting a lot of the benefit from them if you don't own a Xiaomi device, specifically a Xiaomi device on MIUI 11. So if you're running a custom ROM, you're shit out of luck. Let's talk about range. Uh, range on these was surprisingly good, surprisingly stable. I have had no dropouts with these headphones when listening to them and the phone in my pocket. And when I did that range test, I probably could have gone a little bit further uh, because even when it wasn't direct line of sight, I was having very minimal dropouts. So range on these seems to be great. In regards to now latency, I'll do the latency test for you guys here with PUBG as well as YouTube. Really find these at their MSRP of $60. Now there's another issue that I'm having with these because outside of all of these features and all of the stuff that we were promised to have working, it makes it really difficult for me to review these headphones. Because part of the selling point and part of... And as you guys can see, latency uh, for YouTube was really, really good. I don't know if it has to do with the low latency, high definition capabilities of these headphones. My phone isn't giving me any kind of prompt saying that it's using anything other than AAC. But I had no problems listening to YouTube videos with this and the experience was pretty good. Um, it was definitely, uh, one of the best experiences I've had outside of my APTX headphones. And I will be doing comparisons uh, with other headphones from Xiaomi and the original Mi AirDots Pro and these. In regards to gaming, uh, the gaming latency seemed a little bit different than it did for YouTube. I have no idea why that is, but you could definitely still game on these as the latency was minimal compared to like other Bluetooth headphones I've tried. In regards to like the experience of using these for media consumption in a quiet environment with no background noise, it was totally passable. Now let's talk about the call quality and I'll have a recording for that right now. Okay, we are testing the Mi AirDots Pro 2. We're here on the street. It's a pretty busy, loud street right now. Um, Got motorcycles, got people yelling. Let's see how the microphone uh, for these sound. Um, let me know how it sounds in the comment section down below. I think the call quality on these was honestly worse than it is on the Mi AirDots Pro original. Those did feature some active noise canceling ambient plus microphone noise canceling stuff. I'm kind of disappointed that it feels like Xiaomi took a step back from what they had 
on their previous headphones. Now, battery life has been something that I have been genuinely surprised by. The battery life on these headphones has been very, very good. I have been able to get at least two and a half to three hours listening to music at normal volume with them. It's impressive. It is good battery life. The case holds an extra like 10 to 12 hours um, of battery life. So like your total battery life with these is gonna be anywhere between 12 to 15 hours, depending on volume. And ultimately much better than what we had on the Mi AirDots Pro original ones. These do charge over USB type C. And I did notice that their recharge time was pretty quick. I don't know if it has some type of quick charging enabled on these because any type of information on these is mostly in Mandarin and kind of difficult to find. Now I haven't done any sound quality back to back listening tests with these headphones yet. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm going to listen to these, the Sabit E12s, which are the same exact price as these. I'm gonna listen to the original Mi AirDots Pro, and I'm going to listen to my fake pair of Apple AirPods, just so that we get a kind of a broad spectrum of listening experiences. First pair of headphones that we're gonna to listen to is my cheap pair of fake Apple AirPods. I think I got these headphones for like 35, 40 bucks. You can get a variety of really cheap, like fake AirPods. Uh, now the songs that we're gonna listen to are going to be kind of the staple of what I like to listen to. It's gonna be something on the hip hop side as well as something on the rock side. So first for hip hop, we are going to listen to Travis Scott, Sicko Mode, just got done comparing the Air 2 versus the fake AirPods that I have. For hip hop, I can say that they're, they're, they're pretty close. Like the, the, the fit of the fake Apple AirPods fits a little bit better in my ear, so I get a little bit better bass from them. I get slightly better definition from the Mi Air 2. Uh, it's not that big of a difference when listening to hip hop. With rock music, it is a much more tangible difference. I'm listening to ACDC, I feel like I have more definition in the mids and the highs. I have more separation uh, of the instruments and overall I just have a little bit better of a sound stage. Let's go ahead and do these back to back with the regular Mi AirDots Pro, the first ones. I don't even need to test them versus the Sabit. Oh, okay. Um, wow. Uh, that was that was pretty. That was that was pretty eye opening. Uh, there's no way to get around it. The original Mi AirDots Pro sound better than than the Mi AirDots Air Two because of how these fit in your ear, even in a completely quiet environment like this, where uh, other than a, a dog barking incessantly outside, I have nothing to, to, to really interfere with the sound. Because they don't seal in your ear, the music has kind of a hollow sound. Like there is bass, I hear the bass, but I don't feel the bass. Like immediately when putting the original Mi AirDots Pro in my ear, I have a warmer, more full sound. And for something like rock and roll, it's the difference between hearing the bass guitar or feeling the bass guitar kind of move the song along, listening to ACDC, it's a long way to the top, versus not having that. And I know it's not just like the open ear AirPod style because these fit in my ears a little bit better they don't necessarily sound better than these, but the reality is that if you're looking for a good pair of sounding headphones, these just don't sound that good. All right, but they don't sound like great. They sound kind of hollow, sound kind of not tinny, 
but they don't have a very warm and like inviting sound. It, they don't make me want to listen to them more. And I'm trying to figure out, like, I, I, I just, I don't like the way they sound. I don't think they sound that great. When I walk with them out on the street, you have to turn the music up all the way uh, because they allow all of the background noise in. You don't get very good bass with them because they don't give you that seal to allow to like kind of feel that bass in your ear. Now let's talk about just kind of my thoughts moving forward, if you guys can't already tell. These headphones, in my opinion, are the biggest fuck up that Xiaomi has given us in a while. Like these are the biggest miss in regards to a pair of headphones that Xiaomi has. The most positive aspect of these headphones is when you take them in and out of your ear, they pair really quick and you can see how much charge is left on the case on your phone. Now the question is whether or not you're better off buying a pair of fake AirPods or these is you can now buy fake AirPods with a W1 chip and the proximity sensor for almost the same price as you can with these, and I'd leave a link with them down below. You're gonna have pretty comparable battery life, the case is gonna be smaller, and they might fit in your ears better. In regards to build quality, you know, the fake AirPods are getting better and better, and the problem that I see with these is that now Xiaomi is not competing with Apple's real AirPods, they're competing with all of the fake AirPods that are available in China and everywhere else, which are going to offer people a pretty similar experience. Let me know what comparison you guys wanna see with these down below, and I will try to get a comparison video out. Of course, if you guys wanna buy these, I will leave links to all this stuff down below, as well as links for fake AirPods. If you guys wanna contact me on Twitter, go ahead and at me on Twitter. Don't DM me on Twitter. Uh, and if you guys are into mobile photography, check out Shamitography. Also, I will have links to my other headphone reviews up here, other like headphones you might wanna buy instead of these, which you guys can watch. And until next time, it's been Mitchell coming to you guys from Hanoi. Peace.